Hey coffee lovers, have you ever wondered why your coffee tasted bitter and mellow sometimes? And why it's perfect on certain days? We have got some answers in today's video. Welcome to the App Barista channel, the coffee's paradise. Today we are going to unravel the magic behind the coffee to water ratio. With this video, our mission is to break down the science behind the coffee brewing ratio and evaluate your coffee game to a whole new level. So grab your favorite coffee mug and hit that like button. First thing first, let's see why you should pay attention to the coffee brewing ratio. Well, my friends, this is where the coffee magic begins. The coffee to water ratio is like a conductor in an orchestra, dictating the strength, flavor and balance of your coffee. To maintain the symphony of the taste, you must get it right. It's not just about tossing coffee and water together, it's about the art of balance, strength and flavor. With the right brewing ratio, you can control your coffee strength. Want a bold, robust cup or prefer a milder, more delicate brew? Play with the ratio and you are done. But that's not all, the ratio also holds the key flavor. It's the difference between a coffee that sings notes of chocolate and caramel and one that falls flat. And let's not forget balance. A well-balanced coffee is like a perfectly choreographed dance of acidity, sweetness and bitterness. Learning that aspect ratio is how you achieve that dance. Have you ever had a bitter coffee or was way too bright? It might have been over-extracted or under-extracted. And guess what? The brewing ratio was the culprit. Under-extracted, as the name suggests, means we haven't extracted enough flavors from the ground. It's like cutting a song short before a grand finale. The result? Weak sour coffee that lacks depth. On the other hand, over extraction is like leaving that song on repeat for hours. It extracts too much, leading to bitter, unpleasant coffee. It's like turning up the volume to the point of distortion. Brewing ratios ensures that you hit the sweet spot between under extracted and over extracted, making it a perfect cup. What exactly is coffee to water ratio? Well, think of it as a magical formula that determines the strength, flavor and balance of your coffee. In simple terms, it's the proportion of coffee grounds to the water in your brewing process. Just like a recipe for a delicious dish, your coffee needs right ingredients in the right quantities. And here's the catch. The ratio is usually a set of numbers, like 1 is to 15 or 1 is to 16, which simply means for every one part of your coffee, you need 15 or 16 parts of water. Now here are the certain factors that affect your coffee to an extreme level. First up, let's talk about grind size. Ever heard the saying size matters? Well, it certainly does only in the world of coffee. The grind size of your coffee beans can highly impact the coffee to water ratio. It's like choosing the right tool for the job. For instance, if you are using a coarser grind for your French press, it requires a different ratio than the fine espresso grind. Next is freshness. Obviously, we want the beans to be fresh, but there could be some difference in the coffee to water ratio based on the freshness. Coffee beans release gases as they age, and these gases play a role in brewing process. Fresh beans will have different requirements than the older ones. Let's jump in and check out some golden coffee ratios. We will begin with the French press, a beloved classic. Known for its rich and robust brew, the golden ratio used worldwide for it is 1 is to 15. Next up is the pour over which is a favorite among the coffee lovers. Pour over is all about control and the ratio 1 is to 16 is your secret weapon. Third we have in the queue is Aeropress Adventure, a favorite for its portability and versatility. The golden ratio for inverted Aeropress method is 1 is to 15. Last but certainly not the least, Espresso where every drops is a tiny masterpiece and demands precision. And the ideal coffee to water ratio for it is 1 is to 2. To create the perfect coffee to water ratio, you will need a trusty kitchen scale. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you calculate the right amounts. Measure the coffee beans with the help of golden ratio for your chosen method. For example, 1 is to 15 for French press. You can use well calibrated beakers for accurate measurements. Measure your water based on the ratio. For example, 1 part of coffee for 15 parts of water as above. This this ensures consistency in every cup, making sure your coffee is never too weak or too strong. Using the digital coffee scale ensures accuracy and takes the guesswork out of the equation. Let's take a look at some issues that you might face in your brewing journey. We have all been there. A weak cup of coffee that leaves you for wanting more or an overly bitter brew that puckers our taste buds. If the coffee you brew is weak, try to increase the coffee to water ratio. A little more coffee can go a long way to boosting your strength. 
If it exceeds the bitterness of your enemy, consider a lower coffee to water ratio. Dilution can be the solution to taming bitterness. Remember, coffee preference is subjective. Tailor the ratio to match your taste and you'll conquer these common issues like a pro. To keep track of your coffee experience and get a perfect brew, maintain a coffee journal. A digital one is a good option. We have an app named the App Barista. You can use it for your convenience. Simply note down the ratios that you tried and the flavors that they produce. It's like crafting your coffee diary. With each experiment, you will be an inch closer to your perfect cup. So don't be afraid to get creative and savor your journey. And there you have it, a coffee brewing ratio journey comes to an end. Let's recap the key takeaways. Brewing ratios are the secret to achieving the perfect cup of coffee. They control the strength, flavor and balance of your coffee. Remember that the coffee to water ratio is your compass to in this flavorful adventure. Whether you are aiming for bold or milder coffee, ratios have your back. Now it's your turn. Craft your coffee your way. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please give it a thumbs up. Share your coffee brewing experiences, questions and experiments in the comments below. We love hearing from our coffee community. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an coffee update.